We thought we were good, then you just step out. You're good, right? You don't need me. Well, right? I don't know. Okie dokie. What's this, Tori Montine? Okay, this bird uh, presented three months ago <coughs> with. Um, okay. Uh, well, it initially presented because um, the primaries were yanked. So the guys over at um, Floyd. Crop injury. Floyd can't. Well, we didn't realize that till um, uh -huh. till I started. He had this bloody spot on his chest, and I started messing around and looking. I'm thinking, oh my gosh. And I pulled out a, a long bone, so I don't know, or a long something or other. I didn't keep it, and so I don't know if he got impaled mm -hmm. by something or if he swallowed something large and the bone migrated out of the crop. But anyway, that took a while to get that squared away. Um, so... Uh, uh, I've only had three cases of the yanked primaries since 1983, so I don't have a lot of experience. The first one, they grew back in about six weeks, and boom, he, I broke his dinner plate. He was gone. The second one, they corkscrewed in, so we euthanized him, which uh, uh, here is pretty common. Like if the follicles are traumatized like that, e either they'll form a, a feather cyst where this kind of skin grows over mm -hmm. the follicle and you have trouble with the feathers coming out, or they corkscrew in. Um, but these have gotten out to about three inches and now they just won't do anything you can't imp them uh, the last time I looked they were still in the blood and you can't uh, you don't want to be cutting on something like that because it'll just continue to bleed so well, we, we, we could pull them but if we pull them we could also damage the yeah and then we're you know three months behind I was um, wondering about um, light therapy or growth stimulating hormone except it may mess up the rest of the molt I don't know I don't know and he's too much of a fruitcake to keep inside. I could put him under, um, put him under my orchid lights. I could grow him like a petunia. <laughs> we, we're, we're, we're basically trying to figure out what's going on with his feathers, um, and I don't have much experience myself either. So we're gonna take an X-ray, um, and then we're gonna take some pictures of the uh, damaged feathers so that we can send it to somewhere, someone. Okay. Uh, so now, Mandy, you have to leave with the next uh, right? Okay. Um, we're we just uh, knocked him down with some isoflurane, and we're extending the uh, the primary there. So we're going to radiograph the the wrist area and maybe see if there's some sort of damage. Uh, we're just kind of shooting in the dark here to see what's going on. So I don't know. Okay. We're we're trying to figure out how how many are actually missing on this side. So so we did a, a count to compare. We've got 24 on this side, top to bottom. We've only got uh, 15 on this side, so um, so we're missing basically nine primaries. These are the important, these are the important ones here. <laughs> he can't do his job if he doesn't have these, so and he's got to be the same on both sides or, or it won't work. Okay. Get too much and we're going to try to pull it. Thing you like to always embarrass me. Sometimes it takes pliers because um, the. the um, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Doctor, you're in the way. No, they have muscles on yeah. These are awful. And they need pulled because they're broken? Yeah. No, Montine wants to pull them out so that he goes into molting and get the feather back earlier. Now, once the back will come out until his next scheduled molt. But if okay. you pull it out, then his body will make gotcha. it. Gotcha. Okay, so so you know when you've got a tip, I'll put it up against his hair so you can see. Yeah, yeah. So he's got every he's got the whole thing. Hopefully not too much. Hopefully not too much. Is it bleeding? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, feather number two. Yeah, I touched it pretty yesterday. Mm. Have you looked at the radiographs yet? No. Okay. But I thought it would not make it be much of a difference to do this. We're all pulling for you. <laughs> this shit. Oh. <laughs> I'll edit that out. <laughs> Okay, we ended up pulling um, two feathers. Um, don't know uh, where the rest of them are. <laughs> so, I don't know what's going on. The, the bird obviously had to have some primaries to begin with, or he wouldn't have lived as long as he did, because he came in about, I don't know, the 2nd of uh, January. So, um, anyway, so this is one of these crystal ball cases. All right, all right, we're, okay. So these are the two feathers that we pulled, Montaigne. Okay. Um, and then uh, the other missing feathers are still, it seems that they're still there. However, we were not able to really feel them. So what we're going to do is... And it uh, couldn't be a feather cyst because... There, uh, no, could it, be? <clears throat> it seems that this is still part of the soft trapping there. Uh, and that's why they're not coming back. That's where they're not growing. So the skin could have possibly grown over the follicles completely without creating a feather cyst because uh, you know or, sometimes it'll be a bulge you no know, what, what I think it happens is that it broke off by the beginning of the feather but it left some remaining soft under the skin mm -hmm. so that's why we don't see it however I was not able to really feel anything but um, yeah and nothing's changed yeah. for, for three months I think what we're going to do is you know we pull two feathers now we're going to give them a little bit of a break and then we're going to try to do it again um, this time we're, we're going to um, clean the whole area and soak all the feathers down yeah. so that I could, I could see the skin down to the skin. Right. And see, where I made my mistake is that I was looking at those coverts, the short ones, and thinking they were primaries trying to come out, but they, but, were, not. But they, they were, were not. Just, they were just so, feathers. So they weren't coming in at all. Correct. My mistake was that I thought they came to a certain length and stopped, but the they only, haven't come in at all. Okay. And, and the only way to explain that is that they, this the, this remaining shaft is still there. That you know, again, we're gonna we're gonna give it a few days. We're gonna repeat again. We're gonna try to do okay. um, going down to the skin and check that area more. Okay. Okay. And um, yeah, we'll do that. See, this is what I was counting up. These are the covers up here, mm -hmm. and they they only get about three inches long. And uh, you know, this is the interesting thing. Uh, you know, I've been doing this since '83, and you still make mistakes. And you know, so well, the good thing you don't make many mistakes, routine. Well, you know, <laughs> I'll sign off on that note. Well, so we can all giggle. <laughs>